What's up, people? Nature Girl 30 here, and this is another mini Q&A 91 on a very cold winter day. But guys, thank you so much for sending me questions, and let's get started with the first set of questions from Final Limits. Have you ever watched any videos from that monkey Dashie? No, I have not, but if that if Dashie actually does playthroughs, I might take a look at it. I'm a big fan of video game playthroughs. Something I would like to do myself one day. Um, what do you think of Paige? I like Paige. I enjoyed Paige's character when she was on NXT. Now I really don't know what to think of her because they kind of they kind of messed her up. Try to make her as a friend of me, then try to make her as a uh, as a face or a heel instead of making her the anti-hero that she started out being when she was in NXT. So I really don't understand why they decide to actually change her around because she's a great character and she should stay the way she is and she shouldn't be twitched around like that. That's just something that really gets on my nerves. A lot. And I wish they stopped. Got some Twitter questions this time from Rio Harold. Um, your first question for me is, do I like Pokemon? Yes, I like Pokemon. I don't really watch it or play the games that often. But I know it was a huge craze way back in the 90s. And honestly, it was kind of cool. I, I don't really watch Pokemon that much anymore. But it's pretty cool. I don't mind it at all. Um, my favorite Pokemon is Mewtwo, because Mewtwo is cool, Mewtwo is awesome, and Mewtwo is hardcore. I love me some Pikachu, but it's all about Mewtwo. Um, and your last question for me is, am I a lesbian or a bisexual because I look like it? Well, I hate to disappoint you, but no, I'm not gay or bisexual. And I didn't think I looked like it, but no. <laughs> But there you go. That answers your questions. What did you think when... Okay, what did you think when Paige... Paige? My brain's still on Paige. What did you think when Jay Lethal used to, used to impersonate your man Ric Flair in TNA in 2010? Um, I would know. I really didn't watch TNA around that time. But honestly, there's only one Ric Flair. <laughs> can never be impersonated and can never be imitated. So he can try his best, but he will always fail. Um... Um, since you like Flair so much, would you sleep with him? Why or why not? No, I wouldn't sleep with him. Don't get me wrong. I like Ric Flair because I love Ric Flair's classic hair back in the day. And I like the style, his charisma, as well as the class that he put in when he was a heel. As for me sleeping with him, no. He's old enough to be my dad. No, thank you. Um, moving on from there... Did Flair used to take drugs in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s like most wrestlers his age um, from the time from his time he used to? Um, honestly, I don't know if he did do drugs at all. I, I'm hoping he didn't, but I, I really don't know. Uh, what do you think of Jericho's WCW run in the 90s? I actually did see his WCW run a few times. I think it was on the, on the app. And it was, I mean... He was actually pretty funny, but he was more confrontational in WCW, in my opinion, than he was in uh, than he was in WWE. WWE, he was more like comic relief, but he could always like he was either he was either a comical face or a completely just straight faced heel. Like seriously, he was either straight faced heel or a comical face. In WCW, he was kind of a mix of both. And it, it, I mean, I loved it. I loved his stint in WCW as well as I like his stint in, w, in WWE. But honestly, he was kind of a mix of both. Both a comical heel. Uh, he was a comical heel. I guess, like I said, a comical heel with a serious face. If you actually do get in his way, he will take you out. But he will make fun of you along the way. That That's the classic Jericho character. And I like I like Jericho, especially during that, uh, around that time. Um... What did you think of uh, Jericho's debut in WWF in 99? I loved it. I really, really did. I thought it was a great premise to come in, especially with the whole Y2K thing going on. People all paranoid about their computers shutting down. So honestly, that was a great idea to come in with just as Y2J. I thought that was completely genius for him to, to do that. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed his debut. I really did. And the fact that, you know, The Rock was just saying, you know... <laughs> Who in the, like, I don't know, I forgot what he said. Who in the Rudy Pool are you or who in the Blue Hell are you or whatever. Either or, 
I thought it was funny how The Rock kind of played back and forth with Jericho. I loved it. I thought it was awesome. And yeah, best debut. Best debut ever. But moving on to Just Inside. Um, is Emma Roberts hot? Yes or no in, in your opinion? Honestly, I don't really see Emma Roberts as hot. I just don't. I, I mean, I, she's she's cute, but that's about it. Um, is she a hot mess? Yes or no? Not so much a hot mess, but I've heard that she had more anger issues than anything else. Do you think she shaves her vagina? I don't know, and I don't want to know. I don't want to know about Taylor Swift. Um, yeah, moving on from there. Um, <laughs> what do you think of the Bella Twins? Um, I used to not like the Bella Twins, but that shows how great of a heel they were. Like, they were both great heels. And when you don't like somebody in that way, that shows that they are great heels and what they do. I like them now. I like Brie. I really do. But I'm starting to, I, I'm a little bit more of a fan of Nikki. Because honestly, Nikki is a strong chick. I, I like strong chicks. I like chicks that actually are not afraid to throw down. And honestly, she seems like that she's the type of chick that can throw down. Don't get me wrong. I like Brie and the fact that she's stealthy and everything. And use submission holes. I think that's pretty cool. But Nikki is sheer strength. Plus, she's came a long way. Um, when she wrestles, she's actually training a lot more, and you can tell. She has improved greatly. And but she has a lot more personality than Brie. So I kind of do like Nikki a little bit more. I'm kind of towards Nikki. But Brie is great. She's a great athlete. But personality-wise, I like Nikki more. I, I really do enjoy them. Um, thoughts on Ghetto Mama Cameron? <laughs> Ghetto Mama Cameron. I wouldn't consider Cameron to be a ghetto mama. No, nah, not by far. I don't think it's anything ghetto about Cameron. She's strictly an L.A. chick, and you can tell. But I'm not a fan of Cameron because, well, Cameron has, she's great on the mic. She's great as a valet. She has great personality, but she just can't perform well. She just kind of sucks, but that's because she wasn't there that long. So I don't really have any beef towards her, but after seeing her on the show... I'm like, good grief. I don't, wow. Like, that's somebody I don't think I'll be able to deal with, like, <laughs> and, and the, way the, the way other people deal with her. I don't think I'll be able to deal with all the drama. But that's just me. I, I'm not really so much of a drama person. Thoughts on that uh, fellow, I wouldn't consider Naomi to be ghetto. I wouldn't consider Naomi to be ghetto. I would consider Naomi just to be Naomi. Like, I wouldn't consider her to be hood. If she was hood, she would have been taken off her earrings and ready to scrap when she was fighting Cameron. But she didn't do that. I just think that she's really a good athlete, but she's not that great on the mic. She's getting better, but she's not that great at it. But she is she is starting to perform. She, she's a great performer. Like, she's an all-around athlete. But honestly, she really does need to improve on, on her mic skills. But she's getting better at it. But I don't really know what the whole feud between her and Jimmy is going to go after they kind of squashed it. After they got the titles back. But I don't know. We'll see from there what they're going to do with Cameron. But <laughs> yeah. And I don't think I want to talk about anything else. But great questions, man. As for the other ones, I'm kind of moving on from there. Um, next person, uh, Nintendo Fanboy 1988. What did you think of Victoria and Stevie Richards' couple... I guess it's Stevie Richards' couple in 02 and 03. It was weird. It was... Well, Stevie Richards back then had a whole crazy persona. He had a whole psychotic persona. Then you also had Victoria that had the whole psychotic persona, which worked for a while. Honestly, I think that that kind of gave her a little bit of personality when she had the whole psychotic, um, the whole crazy chick vibe going on. And it kind of worked, but Stevie Richards' personality is completely different from uh, Victoria's, and it was kind of weird. It fit because of their, it fit because of the way their characters were, but then as time went on, it just didn't fit right. It just, it just felt weird. That's just me personally. It just, it just wasn't right. What did you, uh, what did you think when Victoria hit Trish with a chair in the head? Ouch. That's pretty much what I'll say about that. They were a lot more gung-ho about things back then than they are now. Like, like with TNA, they're up to putting their women in steel cage matches. 
and, and their um their knockouts and still cage matches and and pretty much like no holes barred or last man or last woman standing. But like they don't care. They'll have these chicks wrestle like the dudes. But WWE has kind of held back, pulled back the reins after the ruthless, uh, ruthless can't even say it, ruthless aggression era. <laughs> after they after the ruthless aggression era, they kind of pulled back with their divas. And even though they really weren't doing much with them, even in the Attitude Era, all they did was like bra and panty matches and ridiculous monstrosities that they had these women do. They started to get a little bit more ruthless with them as time went on. But yeah, they started pulling back. But when I actually saw her hit Trish in the head with a chair, I'm like, ah, ouch. But hey, they're in the business. That's what you do. You take a shot in the arm or the back or whatever. But now they don't do that anymore. Um, why does Emma suck? Uh, and has a stupid gimmick. I don't think Emma sucks. If you go back and watch NXT, watch the feud between Emma and Paige. The best feud it, with two women that I have seen in a long time since Trish and Lita. And honestly, Emma can fight. She's a great performer. She's she's well versed in submissions. She may come off as a complete doof, but either or, she's still very very skillful. This chick can I mean she can break your she can break your back without trying. Like seriously, she's really well versed in submission holds. That's why Paige and Emma's feud was so great because they're both great in submissions. And that's why I love seeing them perform. So go back and watch NXT and watch Paige and Emma fight. Then you'll be like, oh man. Then you'll go back and actually say that, you know, that Emma won't suck because Emma doesn't suck. She only sucked because she was paired with Santina. Enough said. And I kind of messed her up since then. Um, why is Emma released yet? I don't. There's nothing wrong with Emma. There's just they just don't have anything to do with her. Like seriously, if Emma was put in a great feud that she had those those awesome feuds that she had with Paige, I am telling you, they would find something to do with her. Emma is a great talent. Sure, she got in trouble for shoplifting. I'm not gonna lie, and I'm not gonna even get into that. But I will say that, that uh, Emma is actually a great talent. They just need to find something to do with her. And I really think that they need to rehash the feud that they had at, at NXT between her and Paige. Seriously, they do. Because Emma is good. She is good at what she does, and I like her. Plus, this whole her whole arm thing, I love it. It's fun. I, it needs to be fun. We need to have more fun in wrestling. So I love Emma. Um, do you think Santino... Uh, no, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, what if WWE gave uh, Emma a satanic gimmick? No, it will not work. Because Emma's too goofy. She's way too goofy, and that will not work. And, yeah, that just wouldn't work. Um, why is Emma a thief? Look, I don't know why she shoplift. She just did, and that's how it goes. And But I, think she, I still think she's a great talent. But anyway, um, moving on to my last person of this Q&A happens to be little fish you sent me two so i guess i could fit them all in on this q a um since you're the last one is daniel bryan oh a uh, question oh uh, your question is is daniel bryan eliminating the royal rumble by roman reigns um honestly the royal rumble is not out yet so i really can't answer that but i will say that there's a lot of people that are rooting for daniel bryan and i highly doubt that roman reigns is going to win if the wwe listens to the people if they don't, they're going to have Roman Reigns win, which I think is going to be the biggest mistake they could ever make. That's just me personally. Who will win the um, 2015 Royal Rumble? Um, Brian, Ziggler, Ambrose, or that Samoan pretty boy Roman Reigns? Like I said, all these guys here, well, three of them except for Roman, they're all being rooted for by the WWE Universe. Mostly people want Brian to win. Everybody wants Daniel Bryan to win the Rumble. But yeah, you got the IWC pretty much drooling over Ziggler. And you got a lot of people who are diehard um, Dean Ambrose fans. Like, I love Dean Ambrose. But I'm going to be real. I'd rather have Daniel Bryan win. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I love me some Dean Ambrose. I love me some Dolph Ziggler. But I want Daniel Bryan to win. I just do. Because Daniel Bryan has pretty much went 
from all the way down to the bottom, all the way to the top, and have it snatched from him. This would be a great story for him to actually begin. Plus, we really do need somebody else besides, well, I can't really say besides Cena, because Cena really hasn't been in the spotlight that often. But I will say we do need to have somebody that people can root for, somebody that people can actually um, just, just, just be behind. And more than likely, it's going to be either Ziggler or, uh, or Brian. But if Ziggler wins, he's going to become a heel. If Brian wins, then it'll be better for everybody. So I'm hoping it is Daniel Bryan. That's just me personally. Is Cena winning the title at the Rumble? Um, everything is leaning towards Roman right now. I don't really see Cena winning the title because, honestly, it's so up in the air about what they're going to do with Sting and what they're going to do with um, <clears throat> Bray Wyatt that I have absolutely no idea who is going to win the title. I don't think it's going to be Cena. Not for a while. I don't think Cena is actually going to win the title for a while. And I'm kind of happy because I do not want him to beat Ric Flair's record. He is one win away from time with Ric Flair. No. I'm, I'm alright if he don't win. Straight up. And I really don't want him to. Who would you rather see Brock fight in, at Mania if he wins? Um, if he wins? Brian? Well, well, I know that, that Deluxe Man actually does like Daniel Bryan a lot. Or Reigns. Honestly, let me see. The person that could be closest to actually having a decent match with Brock Lesnar is Daniel Bryan. Because Daniel Bryan has the same fighting style as, as um, Brock Lesnar. Not to mention his stamina is out of control. So it will be a great match to watch. Plus, Daniel Bryan is a lot more uh, fast-paced than Brock Lesnar. Don't get me wrong. Brock is fast for a big guy. But I think that that um, that Daniel Bryan will definitely um, bring the pain to Brock Lesnar and kind of make him think twice of what he can do. So seriously, I think that would be a great match to watch. I don't think that Roman Reigns is going to be able to handle Brock. Straight up. I don't think he is. Sure, he has Superman punch. Sure, he has a spear. But he doesn't have moves strong enough to put anybody that big down. And I don't think it's going to be Brock. Seriously. That match is going to be completely one-sided if Roman Reigns fought him. So I'm rooting for Brian because Brian can take it. Seriously. And, and your, um, your last three questions is, what do you think of Sable? I like Sable. She was the first chick to ever be in um, Playboy. So, and not to mention that she did have a, I mean, she did have a lot of sex appeal, but she was pretty much a tough chick. I would say this. She was, she was Trish before Trish. Like, seriously, she she kind of gave Trish a name for herself, in other words. Like, she, of course, she kind of fought her husband. She had that whole feud with her husband, but she was getting more noticed than he was. And she had a great personality. Of course, she was very attractive, but this chick could fight. So, honestly, she was, like, up there before Trish was ever Trish. And I really do respect her for that. And, honestly, I'm, I, I, she, she had a really great run. She's a lot happier now, married to Brock, and you can kind of tell, but I do miss her being out there, but I know she probably hasn't wrestled in a long time, and I don't think she's um, wanting to. Uh, what are your thoughts on Victoria or Tara? I like Victoria. I miss her. I liked her psycho gimmick in WWF, but I also liked her um, the moments that she had when she was in, w, uh, when she was in um, TNA. I liked it when she was in TNA. I really, really did. Um, she, her character was a lot stronger in TNA than it was in WWE. Because she had the whole psychotic, crazy girl kind of gimmick. But in, w, in TNA, she was kind of taken seriously. So I kind of like TNA. Um, thoughts on Candice Michelle. She had a... I pretty much think of Candice Michelle now as more of the go daddy girl than anything else. She had a really interesting moments you know being in WWF with the whole wand and thing but she wasn't as huge as you know you expected to be but she did have a moment in the very end she actually did have a, a, a match and won but then she kind of disappeared after that and then she ended up being the go daddy girl and then she ended up disappearing from there but either or she was okay it, just, it wasn't all that great but she was okay she wasn't horrible or anything so, yeah, that's pretty much it. But, guys, thank you so much for sending me questions. If you have any more questions that you want to send me, by all means, send them to me via YouTube or in my Twitter. 
at RKH30, hashtag Nature Girl q and It's Nature Girl 30 signing off. Peace out, y'all. Later.